Dashed off, I can talk my ass off. Hey, smoke you what you seen, and I'll tell you what I saw. Hollywood, what you think, and I'll tell you what I thought. And we can talk about it all when we hear on trash talk. Hey. What up? What it do? We back. We back. Smoked up. You supposed to say we made it. Oh. We made it. <laughs> we made it. We're trying to do it different here, y'all. We <laughs> were going to flip it up, and then he blew the whole... Right. The whole gimmick. Okay, yeah. well, let's keep it going. Smoke Dog. What up? What number is this? 43. Want to welcome everybody back to the 43rd episode of the Trash Talk Podcast, and we want to say happy Halloween. Halloween. All Hallows Eve. Yes. It th- is. This is the special edition of the uh, Trash Talkers Podcast where we decided to, you know, put some... um. Put put some face faces yeah. on, you know, we, get a we, little We getting creepy in this piece. A little creative. I just wanted to point out Smokey looks absolutely terrifying over there with his paint. I just look like a professional wrestler. But yeah, guys, we got a great episode. We're gonna be talking about everything paranormal. We're gonna be talking about black eyed children. If you don't know what that is, stick around and we will definitely inform you. Also, we're gonna be talking about everything from, you know, scary stories to Ghosts, goblins, and everything in between. Ghouls. Ghouls. Monsters. Yes, sir. But before we get into that, we got some OMG M-G and some w- WTF. F. Yes, sir. Who goes first today, Smoke Dog? Uh, you go first because you got the paranormal picture, which is appropriate right now. Oh, guys, I've got a good pair because it matches up with the whole Halloween. Yeah. Thing, you know i love man this is one of my favorite I, holidays the only thing that's kind of got me bummed out about it is it's not cold i know I, when i i like halloween to be cold man i do too what's up with george's weather bro well man uh, we've been through it <laughs> yeah we definitely have all right guys let me tell y'all what's going on in this great state of georgia and this ties into the whole halloween situation here okay the headline says woman in bloody carry costume Ooh. crashes her car and horrifies the EMTs. Uh oh. It says EMTs probably have seen a lot of disturbing things when they've showed up to accident scenes, but the first responders in DeKalb County, Georgia, weren't expecting what they encountered at a car wreck this week. Sydney Wolf, a student at Georgia State University, was coming home from a haunted house event that she went to dressed as Carrie to promote her role as the title and the musical of the same name based on Stephen King's book. Sydney was driving while wearing a tiara and a white prom dress and covered in fake blood when her Uh, car hit a deer. I remember that scene. Yeah, the vehicle was totaled, so the EMTs who showed up were expecting to see some injuries, but were horrified when they saw Sydney with blood all over her, not realizing she was just in a costume. Mm. Yeah, she tweeted an apology to him. What do you think about that, man? I say don't apologize. You was being you, girl. Yeah. Go for it. You ever watch Carrie? Oh, one of the greatest movies of all time. Yeah. It's one of the best stories of getting back at bullies, too, right? Remind me of the premises again. Cause all so, our- uh, Carrie was a girl that had <coughs> the gift of telekinesis. She could move objects with her mind. Mm-hmm. And she was an outcast at her school. Okay. So she, the, the popular kids wanted to play a prank on her because she's the kid that got picked on. I remember. So let's make her the prom queen. Right. Set her okay. up with the, the best looking dude in school. Right. You know, we're going to get at her. And then right when it's time for her to have her big celebration for being prom queen, we're going to make fun of her and laugh at her and, you know, tell her it was all a joke and nobody likes you. So they did that. And they dumped pig's blood, pig's blood. on her. That's why she was covered in blood. And... Spoiler she, alert. Spoiler alert. She freaked out and decided to start using her telekinesis right then and destroyed that prom scene. She didn't did she kill anybody? Uh yeah, I'm pretty sure. Damn, I'm gonna have to go back and watch it. I man. haven't seen it in years, but yeah, that's yeah. That was a good movie, man. Stephen King, man, his books are great, but his movies were I mean, it uh freaking pet cemetery. Mm-hmm. Uh, K 
Carey, you name it. He's Christine. Christine. Oh, about I the car. That one, yeah. That was a good one, dude. The killer car. Heck yeah. yeah. But yeah, so about this lady. All right. You're 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 a firefighter. You're an EMT worker. Mm-hmm. You pull up to the scene, and when you get there, you the car's total. Mm-hmm. You're expecting somebody to be seriously injured, <laughs> and she looks like it. I imagine. Right with all the blood. Yeah. So she gets out, and she's fine. But my thing is, do you think her dressing up like this with the blood? And it being so close to Halloween, do you think that maybe she kind of manifested some sort of... That's a possibility. That's a very big possibility. Now, the first thing I would thought, somebody jumps out and like, hey, I'm fine, guys. And she's covered up. I'm a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm a, zombie. <laughs> I'm going to look for a steak or something. <laughs> Garlic. <laughs> holy water. Like, kill the zombie. Man. Yeah, Man. but thank God she was okay. But yeah. it, it just, um, I guess the, the, <clears throat> the coincidence, not really coincidence, but what's the word I'm looking for? The, uh, I, I, I would say coincidence. I guess uh, coincidence. Unfortunate situation. Something like that. Yeah, but the fact that she was dressed up as a horror movie character mm-hmm. and something horrific happened to her, and then I could imagine the look on those EMTs' faces when they were like, Are you okay? And she's covered in blood. She's like, Nah, bro, I'm good. I man. guess you could call that irony. Irony. There, That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. That's very ironic. One hundred percent. That wraps up my story for the OMG Smoke Dog. What up? What is going on in Florida? Yeah, tell me what's man, going on. Man, I'm kind of disappointed. I don't have a creepy story though. Oh man, be all right, bro. But like, we are dressed up creepy enough. Yeah, we we giving them the scares anyway. Uh, Florida man. This comes from CNN this time. Uh, Florida man. Jumped off of his surfboard and landed on a shark. No way. Bro was surfing and (laughs) decided to bail out. All right, CNN. A Florida surfer was riding the wave Sunday at New Smyrna Beach when he got one of when he got one good bite of reality. Mm. Stephen Michaelina, 32, was surfing in about four feet of water when he jumped off of his board and landed on a shark, according to Belusia County Beach Safety Ocean Rescue on Florida's Atlantic coast. Mm. According to the rescue team, the shark bit the surfer's foot once and swam away. Michaelina refused to be transported ported to the hospital and was treated on the beach for a minor laceration of his feet. The shark was not seen well enough to estimate his size. And spokesperson for Volusia County Beach Safety Ocean Rescue, that's a big word, or a big <laughs> phrase, told CNN that Sunday's incident marks the beach's 12th shark bite of wow. the year so far. That's crazy. Now, what would you do if you're just surfing out there and you're like, oh man, I'm going down. I got to bail off. So you jump off to the side. You land on a shark. Mm. Would you crap your pants? Uh, Probably. Probably, yeah. yeah. I, I'm curious to know what kind of shark. Uh, It doesn't actually Well, they, they say said it, it wasn't identified. It, yeah, because yeah, they said it wasn't spotted well enough to estimate the size. But This is my thing. Oh, uh, f- f- on the last uh, Trash Talk episode that we did with the Germans, um, mm-hmm. you remember, that's so crazy, that's a coincidence, that, remember we said more people die, one of my facts of the week was more, more people die from cows than sharks. Yeah. So, I don't know, for him to be surfing and... F- well, here's the reason for it. The reason that stat exists is because sharks don't usually kill people. Oh, wow. They bite... They realize you're not the prey they were looking for. Because they see surfboards, they think in seal. Huh. And yeah. they, they want to bite into uh. this big blubber, flubber thing, you know. <laughs> they want they want to get that taste of what they're looking for. And they bite into it and they go, Ugh. I Okay, I, I disagree. Why? Blood is blood. No, yeah, but the animals taste different. And there's not that much i mean the guy's probably in good shape there's not that much meat and right. fat on a person compared to like a, a seal or another fish of some sort another reason i disagree uh i think the reason m- more cows kill more people than sharks is because 
more people are on land. Interact with them. Yeah. yeah, you know, more people are on land versus in the ocean, right? Yeah, but also you got to think how many people get shark bit, bitten, mm-hmm. but don't die. Right, lose a limb or something. Yeah, Smokey, exactly. it's so creepy looking at you at this. Freak- <laughs> I mean, y'all don't understand. I know, I, I mine looks a certain way, but Smokey looks freaking creepy over there, dude. <laughs> All right, no evil eye. Okay. God dang! Look. It's Halloween, guys, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Anything else for your Florida story? That's it for Florida. Guys, have a safe one, and give out some candy, and Smokey's looking for a, a Michael Myers. Uh, yeah, wouldn't you want to do that, though? Like, I'm going to have my daughter come over and hand out the candy to the trick-or-treaters. I want to get, like, the Michael Myers mask and the, the jumpsuit, you know. The full, full stand thing. Stand there with my boots be as tall as I can be, you know, <laughs> and just stand there with an axe in my hand or, or a knife or knife. something. Just stand You're there. known for having a butcher knife with you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is very true. And you just stand there and mean mug to people as you give them the little sideways. Creep E. And just see how many kids are actually brave enough to approach after you that. You know what, old Timmy? We're not going to go to that house for candy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the next one. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, guys, that wraps up our segments of the WTF and the OMG. Yes, sir. Let's get into some Explain This. And of course, with it being so spooky and so hollow. Weenish. Halloweenish or Halloweenig? <laughs> Halloweeny. <laughs> Halloweeny. <laughs> it being so Halloweeny, I have to send Smokey a picture. Now, Smokey. Uh huh. Um, I guess I would consider any paranormal thing to be. Um, you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I want to stop this for one second. Mm-hmm. We lost a trash talker. Mm-hmm. Guys. We started this podcast with three trash talkers. We did. Barringer, Hollywood Six Bonds. Mm-hmm. Larry, Smokey, Ramirez, Cowan. And my dog, Titan. Titan. You guys might have seen him on the sh- podcast or shake a camera, but uh-huh. Titan has passed away. Or he's still the cover for our Twitter profile. Is he? Yes. Titan? Yes. He's sitting there with a trash talk hat on. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. I need that picture. Well, just, right. yeah. But yeah, guys, we lost some, uh, Titan, and um, he was just. If you guys want an update, he was. He wasn't old, old, but he was nine. He had something blocking him, his uh, small intestines that wouldn't let him eat. It wouldn't let him drink, and it got to the point where he lost like ten pounds in four days. Mm-hmm. So we took him to the vet, and um. Basically, if you, which I think is the craziest thing, and only in America, you go to Sweden, you go to Canada, no problem. But if you don't have money in America to fix your health problem, you mm-hmm. die. Yeah. So in this situation, he needed surgery. The surgery with him being so old and it costing so much money, um, we had to let him go. So guys, we just want to say, Titan, rest in peace, man. You'll always be with us. Oh yeah. All right, getting back to in this explain this, Smokey, you should be getting a picture here any minute, mm-hmm. my friend. And I just want you to kind of explain this. That Ooh. is a creepy picture to me. I'm sorry. Ooh, wow, what is going on here? Have you ever seen this picture? No, not at it's all. It's freaking creepy. Ah. Uh. Horse heads. I see horse heads in the snow. Yeah. Are these uh, a cat? Uh, I mean, a herd of horses that froze to death? Would you like to hear the story? I would because I'll just give you my first thoughts. Is it looks like these two people came across a herd of horses that somehow froze to death and got trapped in the snowbank. Right. Okay, what happened? Okay, during 1926 cold winter, all the horses from the Hippodrome fled away after the stables went on fire, okay? Mm. Their only escape, escape way was through a river. Okay, ah. now, uh, but they all froze before managing to reach the opposite side. Oh. Their sculptural heads with terror still in their eyes served as a, as a park, as a leisure park 
that season. So what happened is these horses, I'm going to tell you what's the creepiest thing to me about this picture. First, these horses were in a stable. Mm -hmm. The stable caught on fire. Yes. Now, this is in Russia, where it's 1926 in the middle of the winter, freezing. I want to say this is a really good picture. I mean, it's black and white, but this is... The quality is great, right? The quality is really good for 1926. Well, I'm sure they enhanced it a little bit. I would think. But, okay, so the horses leave the fire running into the ocean, and I'm sure they've been singed... Or a river. Or the river, I'm sorry. And it being so cold you know first of all you know how heavy a horse is yeah so i'm sure that the, the lake was frozen by the when they when they ran on it but with or them being starting to freeze starting to freeze yeah. and with them being so heavy they broke through the ice yeah and couldn't escape and it froze over locking them in place place i mean and with their mouth wow. like yeah but well, yeah i'm sure they were panting and struggling God, to get free look at that dude that is horrible dude um you got to feel for those horses. But now here's the creepiest thing to me about this picture. Uh-huh. The people taking a picture next to it. Yes. No smiles, no nothing. Yeah, like this is just a, a cool common occurrence to go visit after this happens. Oh, well, this is what happens in Russia. Well, I mean, maybe maybe that's just the, the zeitgeist of the times there. Uh, You know, I mean, the society's feelings change throughout time. So, I would say around 1926, they didn't have the affinity for animals that people would have mm. in today's time. There was no PETA back then. Exactly. You know, and this is probably just like, hey, this is a cool occurrence to them. Like, pardon the pun. Uh, but, but yeah, they, you know, they just Damn. wanted to make a memorial of what happened there. Imagine you just walking down the fucking snowbank of a river and you see seven horse heads mm-hmm. just frozen. Watch the F words. Did I say F words? Yes, you did. I said seven frozen no, horses. before that. Oh, sorry. Sorry, y'all didn't hear that. Beep. Yeah, beep, beep. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty freaking creepy. It is. Man. Dude, I, could, I wouldn't want to take this picture, though. That's what I'm saying, dude. The people who who are in the picture of posing is just a little... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They look like, hey, this is just a cool occurrence that we want to go have some kind of memorial of, you know, that we were there. We saw it happen, <laughs> or we saw the remnants of what happened. And here's a picture to prove it all. That would be like if we went to, well, actually, I can't equate that uh, really, but... Like, if you go to uh, where the Twin Towers fell, mm. and everybody's just standing around posing for pictures oh, with it, well, you know? Like, in the process of it happening? Yeah, I mean, of course, that's a much more terrible event yeah. to humankind. But, you know, on a on a smaller scale, this is something similar to that. Right, right. Yeah, yeah man. That's crazy. Well... That that's the thing about these Halloween episodes. Uh, this being our first uh, Halloween episode of the Trash Talk Podcast, and we have many, many more to come, many years to come. Mm-hmm. But um, it these these episodes on the Halloween week, Halloween month, they're gonna be kind of. I keep morbid. This, I, why do I? That's not the right word though. Morbid is death. Yeah. What's the word? It's kind of. It's just creepy, okay? Yeah. Let's just put it like that. But yeah, that's this this week's Explain This from the Trash Talkers and Smoke Dizzle. What up? Let's get into some good, good old fashioned fashion trash talk booyah. <laughs> that's the creepy booyah. Oh, yeah. What's going on, Smoke? Everything, man. Already. Everything going on. <coughs> Listen. <coughs> Yeah. First, I want to ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of Black Eyed Children? I have. What do you know about them? I know that if you're standing at your door giving out candy to trick-or-treaters, those are the last little things that you want to see walk up to your door. <laughs> For the people out there who don't know, what is a Black Eyed, black eyed Child? Well, it's a phenomenon that... A phenomena. Let me, let me uh, do this. Um, I'm going to look up the official wikipedia definition right but uh just to give you my inferior definition um they're children that appear to you in some sort of way 
wanting access to your personal property, whether it be in Inside your car or in the house. Yeah. Some kind of awning that you have. Um, <clears throat> but let's do this. <clears throat> Black-eyed children are a contemporary legend of supposed paranormal creatures that resemble children between the ages of 6 and 16 with pale skin and black eyes. Solid black eyes. Solid like, black. Yes. Uh, who are reportedly seen hitchhiking or panhandling or are encountered on doorsteps of residential homes. Now, what they do is they want to gain entryway. And if you allow them entryway, that's their way of unleashing hell upon you. Really? Yes. They, they apparently are able to s communicate with demons or open a portal somehow, but they will kill you. Wow. Apparently. Now, here's what's crazy about this, guys. Who Everyone listening, this isn't something we're making up. No, no. This is definitely a phenomenon. Yeah, this is something that people are actually encountering. You mm -hmm. know how everyone has those ring doorbells now where it... You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. There are literally pictures and videos of children going to their door that are black-eyed kids. Yeah. And it's it's really something to think about because you th you hear about the the quote unquote men in black whenever there's something extraterrestrial. By the way, remind me to bring up extraterrestrial because I I, I came across something that ties into flat Earth a little bit, but uh -oh. but you you'll like it. Um, but yeah, seeing these black eyed children, it's are they coming for nefarious reasons? Are they here to help? Mm -hmm. I mean, because there are some first-hand accounts of people out there that have actually dealt and actually invited some of these children into their house, mm -hmm. you know? And, you know, some people report that, you know, once they left, just crazy things started happening around the house. Lights flicker, toilets flushes, doors open and closing, similar to what happens at Smokey's house around 3 o'clock in the morning. It does. Um, by the way, we're still waiting on some video. Man, I gotta do that. Yeah. But, um, the f what do you... <laughs> What do you think it is? Do you, in your heart of hearts, do you think it's an actual child coming at some point in time with a black eye? Or do you think it's some kind of DMT thing produced by the brain while you're sleeping? Mm. Or is it legitimately real? Well, I never, I'm never one to just say, no, it's not possible. Right. Because I, in this world, anything is possible donald trump is president exactly <laughs> and that should tell you that anything, anything. is possible <laughs> now <clears throat> now here's a way to be a skeptic for a moment here's a way that this could have happened some kids got these contacts right that made your eyes black which you can buy those at party stores or online or whatever you know and they look really creepy you know, I've seen artists wear those before. Just Hobson. Yes, exactly. Um, you know, you got the ones that are make your eyes all white, and you just have the pupils yeah. in the middle, or you can get the ones that make your eye all black. Yeah. Even the whites of your eyes are black. Now, this could have happened, like, these kids <laughs> got a hold of some of these contacts and thought it would be cool if they went around, you know, ringing trolling doorbells. People. Yeah, trolling. And someone got extremely scared and put their experience on the internet mm. you know and then the legend grew from there right right until other kids were participating as well my question to you would be what what do you because this has been going on since the 1900s what do you say to the people that this happened in the 1900s well see it to be the skeptic and i'm not saying this is what i believe this is a possibility that those stories from the 1900s could have been produced after this occurrence, after this phenomena mm. arose. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. That, you know, you get uh, creepy pastas and things like that that pop mm. up all over the internet, you know. Slendermans. Yeah, Slenderman, the Rake Man, the old the hag. The Rake and, Man? Yeah. What's that? The Rake. What's that? He's kind of like Slenderman, but he's got the really long hands and uh, fingers that look like a rake. Really? And he wraps them around you or whatever. Yeah, wow. look it up. It's pretty fascinating. I have to check that out. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, the Hat Man. I don't know if you've heard about I've that. I've heard one. about that. Yeah. Shadow people, you know? Yeah, yeah, basically shadow people. But, yeah, that's how these things grow, you know? Uh, 
Oh, man, a favorite creepypasta of mine is the 11 Mile Road. Have you ever heard that one? Explain, please. This Halloween scared me. I would me. love to Damn. find this road. What What happens <laughs> is you go out searching for a road that is not on any map one night at okay. 3 a.m. Of course it's at 3 a.m. And you have to, the only way you can find this road is to get good and lost. And you have to have one desire in your heart that you really want more than anything in this world. So you're just driving, you get good and lost. And whatever you're looking for, say, I want riches. I want, I want to be filthy, stinking rich. So you're just driving and you notice a road off to the side that's not supposed to be there. It's just a road that appears and you'll see something shimmering like gold or something or jewels, you know, and you're like, wow, that's the road. So you drive down this road. This road is 11 miles long. The first mile looks kind of normal. It's just mm. an old road, dirt road. Second mile. Now, uh, each mile gets more treacherous as you go on. You'll see, start to see people gathered alongside the road. And um, at one point, it gets extremely hot. And then the next mile, it gets extremely cold. cold. Wow. To where your car is shutting off on you and... Um, then you start to see the figures get closer to the car. They'll attack your car, and you have to keep driving. You can't pay them no mention. Uh, at one point, they'll actually make their way into your car. Freak. Yes. If you can somehow survive this treacherous road you through get 11 what you miles, want? at the end of this road, you will get what you wow. want. Wow. That was amazing. And there are stories of people that say they have completed this. I mean question is did they get what they wanted well that's that's up for debate but uh this the figures that are on the side of the road they have real disdain for anyone going down that road because these are the souls of the people who oh, didn't make wow. it oh that were on the 11 mile road trip yes, and, that wow. didn't make it and their only goal now is to make sure other people, people don't, don't make, make it. it interesting yes Dang, I'm going to have to check that one Definitely out. Definitely look that story up. That is a fascinating creepypasta that it it makes me want to do it. You Just to I'm try saying? it? Yes. Go out at 2.45 in the morning? I'm a persistent person, and I, I'm patient. I think if, the, if this thing actually existed, I could make it 11 miles to get oh, what yeah. I want. Oh, yeah. Just, dude, just floor it. Just yeah. go. Yeah, well, there's some points where they tell you, you know, it's not going to do any good to floor it at this point because the road gets real windy. Uh, You can end up in the lake and become one of those people. You did say it gets treacherous every mile. Yes, it does. It gets worse and worse. Right. But the last mile, everything gets peaceful. It gets bright again. There's at one point where it's so dark you can't even see with the headlights on. Dang. Yeah. Probably fogged up. uh Uh-huh. Man. It's amazing, dude. Uh I, I love that story. See, he like this is why Halloween is our favorite time of the year because we like yes. talking about this. Is honestly, guys, this is the reason we started the Trash Talk podcast just to talk about these yeah. creepy, esoteric things, you know. Mm-hmm. And this is our favorite time of the year. It is. It's wild. I just want to say that Smokey, mm-hmm. you, you're. I know you are a phenomenal rapper. Thank you. Yes, I I look up to you. You you are a phenomenal phenomenal rapper. But if you were to have an alter ego as a rapper, mm-hmm. this is your look. The exact face paint you have on. You know what your name is going to be? What's that? Smokey the the skeptic. Smokey the, the skeptic. skeptic. Yes. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. It's just it fits you. Now, how does the face paint tie into being a skeptic? I don't know. I didn't think that much you into it. You just thought it. the alliteration sounded good. Yeah, Smokey the Skeptic or <laughs> yeah. Smokey the Scepter. Or, yeah, yeah that's that's not bad, actually. Yeah, that's definitely you. Guys, next uh, music video Smokey puts out, he will be wearing this. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good idea. Man, I don't know, dude. It's um, There's a lot of weird things that happen around halloween and um you know for you i don't know if if you guys live in the atlanta area or being in um the southeastern part of the united states not too long ago the uh, international space station went over Mm -hmm. and (laughs) i'm one of the people who always looks up at night because i'm fascinated with ufos and you know strange things you see in the sky Mm -hmm. well i actually did see the iss Mm mm-hmm 
And not only did I see the ISS, I saw blinking lights. I saw sl slow moving lights. I saw fast moving lights that moved in different directions. I saw a red blinking light that would turn on, turn off, turn on. And it wasn't moving. It was stationary. And um, just, I, I don't know, man. It just seems like October, there's just something weird about this month where it has things that just manifest into creepiness you know it's weird do you know what day this is as we record this right now you're going to be watching this on halloween of course what day is this right now as we record october 30th all hallows eve it's well actually tomorrow is all hallows eve because all hallows day is november 1st really yes Today is Devil's Night. Oh, no. Yes. That's when they come. So, guys, oh, you know what? 3 a.m. tonight mm -hmm. would probably be yes. all over the place. Yes, that that's, yeah, that's, that's supposedly when the portal opens for demonic activity mm. to walk the land in a, almost a purge like fashion wow you would say wow let me ask you about the purge it got mm -hmm. you everybody knows what the purge is right yes if th there was such thing as a purge would you participate mm, no you wouldn't no no uh -huh. think about that smoky no, all crimes uh, are legal for 24 hours no i mean or 12 hours so, I, i'm not gonna go kill people well that you so, you don't have to do that but all crimes are legal think about that well, what am i gonna do I'm like wow now is my chance to drive 100 miles an hour in a no. 35 if there was a purge and all crimes were legal i'm trying to scam everybody why because it's legal that shows what's really in your heart no though. it doesn't it mm. doesn't no it it yes i know it's a bad thing i know it's unlawful You're like man it's looting time <laughs> yeah because all crimes are legal no, I mean there, oh, there might be a few things that I would want. I don't know, dude. It, I don't. I don't think I'd participate. So you like, just stay in the house, doors locked. Yeah, I mean, I don't know really what I would. Shit. Now, if I, I'll tell you this, if one of these a holes tries to attack me during the purge, they're dead. Boom! Yes, <laughs> Smokey the Skeptic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for real. Catch this vile for real. What's that? Throw that iron on. <laughs> all right, back to the. All right, two things I wanted to ask you. Kind of deviating from the Halloween thing, but you're someone that's that knows politics more than I do. Mm -hmm. What is going on with this whole Trump impeachment thing? Can you break that down to me? I can't. I mean, I can tell you that they, the liberals, have been wanting to do this since he was elected. Uh, but I, I can't really tell you because I have gotten so frustrated with politics, mm -hmm. uh, especially since the last election, that I try to keep out of it as much as possible. Because anyone, you know, I, I see on social media that people are, they, they will actually claim, oh, I'm addicted to politics, you know? Really? Like, what a way to ruin your mind. <laughs> your life. <laughs> yes. <coughs> like, really, you want to burden yourself with being addicted to politics? Like, what kind of life are you living? Have you heard about this Trump thing? Yeah, dude? I've heard about it. I mean, I try, I try to avoid it, man. I'm, I know the workings of politics. I know... I know history of politics. Mm -hmm. But one thing I have done since Donald Trump was elected... And this is not necessarily directed especially at him, but the world and politics in general. Mm -hmm. I have removed myself from the situation. Right. Mm -hmm. My thing is, why is it coming up now, though? What did, did he do something that... I think now they just mounted enough evidence to be able to proceed with... An impeachment. Yes. Do you think it would happen? Probably not, but it is possible. I mean, uh, all an impeachment is you bring the president up for trial. Doesn't that mean they have to step down from... No. J uh, Bill Clinton was Bill impeached. Clinton. J yeah. <laughs> He's going to say George. <laughs> I was going to say George. <laughs> he, he was actually a big movement for impeachment for George Bush, but right. it never happened. But Bill Clinton, it actually happened. Um, Richard Nixon was up for impeachment and but he resigned first right now mm -hmm. when you go for impeachment does that mean you can finish out your term or yeah if, if you're really? found not guilty i mean well, what if you're found guilty 
Well, then the the Supreme Court can make a decision on whether you have to step down or not. You're not going to serve any time, no matter what the crime was, because you cannot imprison a, a president. president. What? Yes. I know you said that on a past podcast. So a president can do a mass shooting. Yeah, I mean, you would like to think if that was to happen. Hey, Donald Trump here, sir. <laughs> you would like to think if that was to happen that there would be some special alteration made to the law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, you, I mean, but he's your commander-in-chief. Chief, I mean, yeah. war crimes are committed by people hmm. in power all the time that nothing can happen to them, you know? Right. To end that off, do you think he'll, with this whole impeachment thing going on, do you think he'll get a second term? Because the reason I want to I asked you that because a few podcasts ago I asked you you mm -hmm. said yes you think he will I do and I, I mean, think he will I still think he will to tell you the truth because here's what happens in society for every liberation there is an anti liberation you know the whole Newton's theory for every action there is an equal and opposite, opposite reaction. reaction yes sir that happens there is always balance in society. For every extremist, you have a non-extremist. Mm. This always happens throughout history. Mm. So I think it's very possible that he serves a second term mm -hmm. because there's always going to be that movement protecting him as well as the people trying to bring him right. down. Right, so it's and equal. It's, it's, yes. I mean, throughout history, it's always equal because that's how society works. For every liberation, wow. there is an equal and opposite anti-liberation. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. To get off the politics. All right. First of all, what does the word Terra mean? Terra? Terra. Terra? Terra. T-E-R-R-A. What does Terra mean? Terra? Uh, I'm not sure. Right off hand. What do you mean? Well, like... Like a terabyte? No. Like, that's T-E-R-A. Uh -huh. Terra. Like, earth, land, Terra. Tariff? Terra. You've never heard Terra? Not right off Terrain. Hand, yeah, I know terrain. Yeah, of course. So the root word of terrain is terra. terra. Okay. So earth, land is called terra. Okay. Extra. I've never looked into it that deep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Extra. Uh huh. Terra. Stroll. Extra terra. <laughs> ah, gotcha. That's where you were going with that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like where are you leading? This? Okay, you get extraterrestrial. Yes, meaning it's it not means from not from this terrain, or no, it's from extra land. Well, no, it actually it's extra, not from. You're right. Extra means the opposite. I mean, means further than what we can yes, see. Exactly. So you're yeah. right in a sense. It's yeah. not from what we see. Yes. So let's go past Antarctica. It's from outside of our domain. The the ice wall. Uh -huh. The farthest you can go is the ice wall. So past the ice wall, that's extra terrain. That's extra terrestrial. <laughs> I guess you get where I'm coming from. Well, man. if yeah, but only if that ice wall theory is true. Yeah, but okay, we know the there is an official word called extraterrestrial. Yes, extraterrestrial literally okay, means. Okay, let's say the the whole theory of the ice wall is true. Yes, anything outside of that ice wall will be not on Earth. But isn't it still on Earth? No, I mean, because if, they believe that oh, the ice I, wall I got, is the, the end of, Earth. of the Earth. Okay. All I'm saying is Terra is the word. Yeah, okay. And extraterrestrial. Yes. So, I don't know. That just popped up, and I'm like, that. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween, guys. <laughs> oh, shit. Happy Halloween, man. I don't know, dude. I, it, it's um, Space Invaders. You remember that movie? I remember the video game 100%. Space Invaders. It yes. happened on Halloween. They were uh, replaying the War of the Worlds. Oh, and about um, Orson Welles. Orson Welles, yeah, went on the, or you know, made a conjured up the whole story about uh, the world. This is a true story. Orson mm -hmm. Welles goes on the radio. Oh, I got another question. Go ahead. And claims that we are being invaded. Mm -hmm. And people uh, thought that shit was legit. Yes, yeah, it did. It caused mass panic and people running through the streets. And it was all a prank that he did because he had a radio show that he liked to mess with people. He was trolling dude. I, I before think, that was a term. I think, well, first of all, um, what is what is swamp? When people say, oh, you're, you, I saw a UFO, and people say, oh, no, it's swamp gas. Mm -hmm. What is swamp gas? The release of methane. But it comes from a, 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 a swamp, right? Yes, and it can give off a glowing hue. 
that's all it is is just a, a glowing hue that people see and you know they claim that it's a UFO. Or... I mean it's a really uh, what's the word like it's it's a real weak mundane uh, yeah weak uh, cover up for... I mean cuz what what but why would you see s- swamp gas up where airplanes are i mean the, the methane is going to rise for sure and if it's set on fire it'll give off a fireball too but uh yeah i don't know i don't i don't know that i buy the whole swamp gas thing yeah. you know in all cases maybe sometimes someone was actually walking through the swamps and so- praying to the seminole gods or something <laughs> and actually saw some swamp gas and goes ufo maybe that's happened but just to to pass all of it <laughs> off as swamp gas that's, that's kind of yeah that's lame ridiculous yeah and do you know <clears throat> what the highest rated horror movie of all time is let me take a guess on rotten tomatoes that is but i'm going to say night of the living dead that's a good guess but it's not what is it get out i thought it was the joker no no that's the Highest grossing R-rated movie of all time. And what did you what did you ask? What was the highest rated, critically rated on Rotten Tomatoes horror movie on Rotten Tomatoes? What's wrong with that? Get Out's a great movie. Yeah, well, I you would think Halloween, mm. Exorcist. Wait, wait, wait! Did you say horror movie or R-rated horror movie? Is that? I guess that would be a horror movie. Yeah, well, Get Out. I've never really watched it. Oh my God! Watch it. Yeah. Freaking great. But you would think like some of these classics, not a movie from what was that, two thousand three? Right. But I mean I guess you could make a classic at any point in time. Is but... that real smoky? Yeah, I wanna bring up Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, bring that up. Go ahead and talk for a second. Yeah, you know what's crazy about Rotten Tomatoes is man, you can't trust that because Dave Chappelle, one of the greatest comedians Comics, of yes. all time, he just put out um a special called Sticks and Stones, right? Yes. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a zero, but that was only from the critics who worked at Rotten Tomatoes. Once they released um, the, I guess, the voting to the public, Mm -hmm. it got a 99. That just shows you how biased some people can be. You know, it's like it's like Rotten Tomatoes or the company were like, hey, don't watch this. Don't. It's so good. Don't watch it. We don't want to bring a black man up. Number one, get out. Jesus Christ. Guys, Smokey just showed me top 100 horror movies. Best of Rotten Tomatoes. Movies with 40 or more critic reviews uh, via their p- their place of history at Rotten Tomatoes. Eligible movies are ranked based on their adjusted scores. Number one, guys. I have only, I've never heard of any of these. I've heard of actually quite them. <laughs> I'll give you guys the top seven. Number one is Get Out. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I, I, I want to watch the movie now because, like that, I didn't. It's good, Smokey. Is it? You? I haven't seen the new Joker, but you said that's good. Yeah, it's decent. So I'm gonna check that out. You check. I'm not as high on the Joker as the public seems to be. Right. Because they're acting like it's one of the greatest movies of all time. Well, you haven't seen Get Out. I haven't seen the Joker. So you watch Get Out, and I'll watch the Joker. Okay. Um, the Cabinet of Doctor Caligari. Have you ever heard of that? Not at all. That's number two. Number three, A Quiet Place. I've heard of that. No. Nope. Um, the Bride of Frankenstein, of course. Yeah, that's classic. King Kong. Yes. Nosferatu. Yes. You know that, right? That's the first horror movie of all time. Is it? From what I understand, it's, yeah. It was like... Um, 1890 or whatever it was? 1922. Oh, wow. I was way off. But based on uh, Dracula, right? Well, it was before Dracula, as a matter of fact. The first vampire of the movies. The first universal... Uh, movie horror monster, monster yeah. yeah and number seven psycho wow get out psycho makes sense norman bates huh norman bates yeah that's normal ain't it norman norman <laughs> it's normal huh norman all right man we um some of these yeah some of uh, them are crazy babadook the yeah, Babadook? that's my homeboy <laughs> yeah <laughs> aliens that's not bad uh yeah but horror do you see Rosemary's how... Baby? Never heard of it. Oh, really? Never heard of it. That's a classic. 1968. It, do you see Halloween or Scream or Freddy Krueger? That's on there? what I'm looking for. The first like, there's Halloween number 21. Jesus. That makes no sense. That should be number one. No, it should not be. Yes. Ah. Silence of the Lambs is 20. 
see that I I wouldn't s- consider that a horror movie. I would consider that like more suspense, you know. Yeah, The Birds, twenty seven. You remember The Blob? Yeah, that was a good movie. They used to show that all the time on the uh, the Superstation when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, for everybody who don't know, TBS Channel Seventeen. Look, when you're growing up in the hood, <laughs> the Superstation <laughs> is your best friend. Because yes, sir. You don't have cable, <laughs> and T- TBS was the shit. The, yeah, the crap. Exactly. Man, I mean, you had cartoons. You had uh, Thund- WCW Thunder. Yes. You had wasn't Nitro on there? No, that was TNT. TNT. You had to get cable to watch Nitro. But you had Thunder. Yeah, and you could watch reruns uh, during the day. You could watch the Brady Bunch. Yeah. Three's Company. <laughs> Early in the morning, you had Saved by the Bell, man. Yeah. Y'all don't know about that. Man, the Superstation made childhoods for real. <laughs> man, bringing it back to um, bringing it back to Halloween before we uh, mm-hmm. wrap this up. Carrie, number thirty-eight. That's freaking terrible. Yeah, I, I personally, The Evil Dead, number thirty-six. That should be way. Never heard of it. You've The Evil Dead, Ash Williams. You don't know the whole Ash Williams is he rela- saga? Is he related to Ashton Kutcher? I mean, could be. <laughs> Never heard of it. Ash Williams. Dude, Holy Jesus. How House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Reject should be on there. I'm sure they are. Dude, the, have you That's ever... some of the greatest horror movies of all You time. know there's a part three out? It just came out a week ago? Really? Yes. What's it called? Don't say 31, because no. I watched that. House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, and three three something but dude you gotta watch it wow have you seen house of a thousand corpses and devil's rejects yes those are two of my favorite no forget i i will say devil's rejects was better than house of a thousand absolutely corpses. but yes. the third one bro yeah <laughs> you remember the part in that movie where he was like uh he went to go see cat whatever his name was and he was like cat uh captain spaulding yeah and he was like you take you cut the chicken's head off <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah he <laughs> said you boys ain't gonna be doing that chicken now are you he was like he was like you mean to tell me you take a chicken cut his head off let it run around put your thing in and say ah. <laughs> that was so funny well, he claimed we gonna be the chicken <laughs> he, said, ah. he said come on now we, we're gonna buy chicken somewhere else from now on <laughs> man that was a great movie man <laughs> yeah it was <laughs> man oh yeah but back to the Halloween thing um alright so I wanna ask you a question man uh huh your favorite horror movie of all time favorite of all time Man, I gotta get maybe a top five because it's hard to pull. Can I, all right, give me a top five or a top three, your choice. Okay, Halloween. Okay, Nightmare. Wait, on original Elm Street. Halloween? Yes. Okay, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, Freddy vs. Jason. What? Yes, I love Freddy. What? Vs. Jason. Thirteen Ghosts. Thirteen Ghosts was great. You see, you you're trolling. You never right? watched it. Have no, you? I've seen Thirteen Ghosts, but you're trolling on the Freddy vs. Jason. No, I love Freddy vs. Jason. That was okay. one of my favorite your movies opinion. of all time. That's your opinion. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, and for number five spots, dude, that's tough. Give me, give me yours. All right, number one of all time, mm-hmm. Devil's Rejects. Number two, House of a Thousand Corpses. Yeah, number I, th- I could definitely throw those in there for sure. Number three, uh-huh. The Hills Have Eyes. Not bad. Number four. Gonna have to go with a uh, damn. What's it called? I got my number five. Hold on, let me finish mine. All right. What's what's that? Uh, the others was number four. Mm. Number five is going to have to be my favorite horror movie of all time. Would probably be Bambi. That was a horror, a horrific movie. When he lost his mom, that was so. That's like saying where the red fern grows is yeah. a horror movie. <laughs> no, nah, re- realistically, number five would probably. <gasps> have you ever seen a movie called VHS? I have actually. That's... I watched it because it was like uh, on one of those like tubby channels or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Weird Al was in it. Was it? Yeah. VHS was a good movie. Yeah. So yeah, I'll say that's my top five. Who was I'm your fifth? S- 28 Days Later. Never heard of it. It's a zombie movie. Followed in the vein of um, uh, The Night of Living Dead. Dead. And, Never uh, seen it. What was the, the one where they were trapped in the mall? 
Um, uh, Utah, well, zombies. Day right. of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Yes. That's right. Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the, the Dead. Mall. Right. Day of the Dead was not in the mall, but it was um, like a prequel or sequel to that. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, um what? I, uh, number one is the, or number 100 is The Conjuring 2. Freak. Damn, man. What about Carrie? We're, we're missing. We're Carrie. Carrie's in here. No, I'm talking about sure. our top fives. Yeah. We're forgetting Carrie. We're forgetting, you know, Jason movies. What do you think about Chucky? Uh, yeah, uh, I watched them, but they weren't my favorites. Not at all. I don't care. My f- oh, okay, who's your favorite monster? I, I was just about to say, give me your top three favorite Okay, that's uh, easy. Horror villains. I mean, it's got to be the classic. You're going to say it's cliche. Well, I, want, it, I want to hear yours. I mean, Mikey would be three. Who? Michael Myers. Oh. <laughs> hey, Mikey. <laughs> Mikey. He likes it. Yeah, I think that was the, the, the third guy in Scream. Uh, no. Um, oh, I forgot about Saul. Oh, we forgot about Saw. Oh my God, that's one of the greatest villains of all time. You, well, you would you put a Saw movie in your top five? No, but I would put the whole compilation up there if you watch the entire thing all the way through. Damn, that guy, Jigsaw. Jigsaw is one of the greatest. Oh man, The Ring. Nah, basura. That that's a scary movie. Yes. Uh, all right, so top three villains and scary okay. movies. Who you got? Michael Myers, Jason. Number one of all time is Freddy. <laughs> You're sure. going okay. Good old fashioned cliche. Yeah, With but me- I mean, Freddy really is my favorite of all time. I'll put Jigsaw at number two because he's great. So who you got? You, you got to take out somebody then. Who are you taking uh, out? Uh, I would drop Michael Myers. Really? Yeah. I love Michael Dude. Myers. I mean, he would be a four. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my number one scariest villain um, would probably. be be jigsaw yeah probably be jigsaw now you like house of a thousand corpses uh, yeah because dr evil Sa- or no dr, dr. Satan. satan yeah yes dr. Evil's that's mom. number two yeah, yeah, yeah. i like gold <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's Mini terrifying me. stop pumping the laser <laughs> <laughs> Mini me. scott you are not my son bong in a pancake <laughs> blitz in a bong um <laughs> all right so yeah jigsaw number one yes yes dr satan number two and number but we only got to see him for a few minutes you know but that's what makes it so captivating to me you know number three oh man let's go with um leatherface nah that's texas chainsaw massacre right no let's go with um scream to me that's too childish it is i I never liked scream that's too childish um i'm gonna go with probably um Man, it's so tough, man. Um, I would probably say Michael Myers. I'd probably say Michael Myers. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. And we're missing so many. Oh, I know. We could probably look through the list and find like top. Oh, 10. That would be number one. No, 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 no that one, that one, that one. <laughs> All right, final top, top, final top three for you, Smokey. It's Halloween. Yes. Your top three favorite candies to eat on Halloween. Man, I don't need a candy anymore. Neither but, do I. Um, but when you did. When I did. Butterfingers. Um, my favorite candy really didn't happen on Halloween that much. I always liked the the uh, sweet tart ropes. Oh, those are good. <laughs> those are great. <laughs> like Tony the Tiger. But you didn't see those on Halloween no. much. You, you might know? see the little bite size. A lot of, yeah, a lot of blow pops and Tootsie Roll pops. And All right, so what you got? You got... Uh, I mean, it's typical Halloween is going to be Butterfingers, Skittles. Butterfingers, Skittles. Give me one more. Um, let's see. You ever like that saltwater taffy crap? No, but Laffy Taffy. Ugh. I, I did like those. I don't know that that would be my number three. You know but... what that saltwater taffy is? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, I don't. I it's, mean, I know about it. It's uh-huh. like, it's in a clear, mm-hmm. just... I haven't had it that much, though. Disgusting. And people, why do y'all give out candy corn? Why? I don't mind candy corn. I like it. I do. It's disgusting. I like it. My top three, Almond Joy, Uh Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Oh, I would say Mounds. Over Almond Joy? Yes. Because I never never cared for the almonds. 
Well, the only difference is one doesn't have almonds yes. and one's white. I mean, dark chocolate. That coconut was great, though. Del- Boy, you are Tony the Tiger Ooh, in this mug today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Almond Joy, Snickers, and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Definitely. Okay, yeah. I could throw Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. That'd be my number three. Gotta have Reese's. Butterfinger, Skittles, Reese's. Yes. Gotta be. You know what we used to do on Halloween when I was a kid, man? What's that? A week before it was Halloween, and this is when it would like land on Fridays or Saturdays, mm-hmm. you know. What we would do, I swear to God, true story. We would take a carton of eggs, a 12 pack of eggs, bury them underground. I don't know, for some reason in our head back then, we used to think it'd make it more rotten or something. <laughs> but we would take 12 packs, uh, two 12 count eggs, uh-huh. bury them underground a week before Halloween. And keep them under there. And then when it's time to go, pick them up. And we would just splatter doors, splatter cars. Man, I mean, we that was our thing, bro. Mm-hmm. Burying eggs, toilet paper. Man, Halloween's not like it used to be, man. No. When no. we were kids, man. Yeah. Well, back when we were kids, the parents would let you just run out the house and go do whatever. That was the greatest. <laughs> that doesn't happen anymore. Nah, you better be. Dude, and you got so many sickos, man. Yeah, exactly. You got creepy people man anything else you got out there for the last thing yes sir what was your (laughs) favorite costume as a child a ninja a ninja i wanted to be oh no okay ninja tied with all right this when i was a kid you remember uh there's so much I may can tell you. Yeah, oh yeah. Boys you, to Men. Was no. Uh, who my was? Power. Oh, Seal. What movie was that from? Batman. Batman the and, Riddler. Yes, dude. I wanted to be that that Batman. That how's the how's the hook go? I can tell you took a kiss from, from a rose on, on the, the grave. Hold on. All right. I'm about to give Ooh. you a. I'm about to give you a Mandela effect that okay. just came up. What did What did you just say? Kiss. Took a kiss from a rose on the grave. Incorrect. What is it? Took a kiss from the rose on the gray. On the gray? G R E Y. How does that even make sense? People put roses on graves. I swear to God, Google. I, I saw. I meant to bring that up to you. Huh? Kiss from a rose on the gray. Ooh. The more I get a you, the stranger, stranger your feels. That was my <laughs> dude when that came now. out. Now that the roses have bloomed, <laughs> the, the light, light hits the, the moon, moon on the, the gray. The gray. That doesn't make sense. Mandela effect, guys. I, we're gonna end this out, but the CERN Large Hadron Collider. Hadron. Hadron Collider. I swear to y'all, do some research. That that they, created the Mandela. The Mand- it, I promise you, it. I know it sounds crazy. Now, I mean, I can't say one hundred percent. Like I never can. I don't. I don't know anything. Tell you the truth, but it makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. There's a twelve year old little boy who's a genius on YouTube. Have you seen him? Mm-hmm. That he explained that right and got it down. This dude is a freaking genius. Yeah, I would like to say that I came up with that theory before him, but okay. But to be twelve, <laughs> to be twelve and come up with that, I applaud him. That yeah, you brilliant. get an applaud from us. The trash talkers applaud yes. you. But doesn't that make sense? That no, oh, it of, definitely makes sense. You take these large particles that essentially make a black hole, mm-hmm. and it may we don't see any, we don't feel anything. Yeah. But somehow our parallel, you I mean, know, you can, you can definitely alter. I mean, it's proven in space that you can alter space time with a black hole. So if they collide these particles and created a mini black hole sometime, how do they know that we didn't right. alter space time? And I don't think the people who collided, I don't think they know that, hey, we did this. They they probably did it, slammed them into each other, uh-huh. and then was like, oh, well, nothing we happened. We somehow jumped a dimension somewhere. Or they're thinking, hey, nothing happened. It was a failed experiment. That could be. Yeah. But in reality, mm-hmm. something did happen, which is why you're hearing a kiss from the rose on the gray. And, and yeah. which is while you're hearing, uh, Mama always said life is is like it, a box. Is is or was? That's the that's the thing. It was it was was yeah when I was a kid, so but now it's is. is yeah. Like I swear to God, guys, mirror I, mirror on the, the wall. wall. Now it's magic mirror. 
I remember that song saying, A kiss from the rose on the grave. That only makes sense. But it says gray, man. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Anything else for the people out there? Smoke Dizzle. That's it. Happy Halloween, folks. Stay safe. Keep your kids safe. Don't get caught up by any strange movie monsters. Please don't, guys. Um, Thank y'all for checking in to the 43rd episode of the Trash Talk Podcast. We want to say happy Halloween. Yes. Y'all please get, like and subscribe. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell, share, and every every other thing in between. Leave us a damn comment, for God's sake. <laughs> for real, guys. Also, man, just be safe. We want y'all to enjoy yourself. You know, take the kids out. You go out, have a party. But just be safe. Be safe. With that being said, guys, my name is Banjo Hollywood Six Bind. I am Larry Spooky Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces.